Hey everybody, going to be reviewing another hot sauce for you today from Tom's Roy Rippin Hot Sauce. And this was sent to me from Tom Slosser of Tom's Roy Rippin Hot Sauce. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Cayenne and Curry. Check out that label. Great looking new labels on his uh, line of hot sauces. Uh, he does all of the labels himself. But check that out. It's got a nice Asian looking background that you can tell on see on this sauce so great looking label on this one all right and on his website he says for the curry lover and you try our all-natural cayenne pepper with curry it's fantastic on lamb chicken and burgers for a new twist add some of our cayenne and curry to your chili we'll think you'll be pleased with the results and his saying is let one rip all right uh let me go ahead and read the uh so the ingredients on this one, we start off with cayenne peppers, white vinegar, tomatoes, onion, tomato paste, honey, curry powder, serrano peppers, lime juice, salt, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, pepper, habanero pepper, and secret spices. All right. Tom, you're not going to let us know what those secret spices are, are you? Okay. But these are some great products. I'm really enjoying what I've tasted already from um, Tom's company. And I really love a good curry. Let me shake this up. This one seems to be pretty thick. All right. Let's get the aroma on this one. Okay, there it went down. Oh, wow. Nice, mild curry and tomato smell coming through right off the top. Mmm, smells good. Definitely, you can smell the tomato paste. Great curry aroma on this one. All right, let's go ahead and put this on a spoon and check this out. Oh, boy. It's Oh, here we come. A little bit thick and chunky. All right, here we go. Check out the color on that. Great looking, beautiful color. Mmm. Wow. This is definitely spicy. Nice, rich, robust flavor coming from the um, the curry and the tomato paste. But wow, you got to be a lover of curry to, to like this one. Great flavor on the uh, curry on this one. Kind of peppery tasting a little bit, but very tomatoey tasting. Now we can see the consistency a little bit. All right. Only 10 milligrams of sodium on this too. So that's awesome. And I'm going to put this on some um, some of these uh, kimchi and garlic um, wontons or uh, dumplings. What I was trying to think of. So I bet this would be good on this. So let's check this out. Put a good amount on there. Wow, great. I think this would be good um, on, you know, grilled meats. Like he says on his website, be good in some chili. But I think this would be good even on egg rolls as well. Or chicken and rice or uh, fried rice dishes. This would be awesome. I really like this one on flavor. Um, I'd give this about a 7 out of 10 for flavor. On heat, um, it seems to be, he's got it rated as a medium. It does seem to be fairly mild to me, um, not picking up too much of a burn at all. Um, but I'd say on heat, I would give this about a, uh, a 2 out of 10 for heat on the cayenne and curry.
But great job on this one, Tom. Thank you very much for sending this. I really do appreciate it. Everybody check him out. Once again, he's got a barbecue sauce. He's got a line of six different hot sauces. So check him out. You can go to www.tomsroydrippinhotsauce.com. Once again, tomsroydrippinhotsauce.com. I'll put the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed this uh, review. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn.